Slow down. Slow your roll, baby. You are charging in the wrong direction. No matter how you feel, no matter what games your mind is playing on you, you got one thing that you've got to be true to. Wisdom. God has all the wisdom you need. And I'm going to share a little token of wisdom right now with you. And I'm reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 14 to the end. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Pat's two cents. We think we can mix BM with chocolate pudding and we won't remember that we're eating BM any longer because the chocolate pudding will flavor the BM. Doo-doo. They're both brown. They're both lumpy. They're both moist. And some of you are living your life settling for doo-doo mixed with chocolate pudding. Now, one thing that really, really gets me, Satan comes as an angel of light. He comes looking good, smelling good, talking good, baby. And he's got a good game. And the reason I say good game, it's not good. Nothing from Satan is good. But he knows how to come in your favorite package. He knows how to come wrapped and smelling in all your favorite colors and all your favorite textures, everything you like. Because the familiar spirits keep him abreast is what your favorite things are. So Satan knows what to present in front of you. Satan knows how to bring it to you, baby. He knows when. Mm. And he knows what to bring at the right time. Right when you are ready, Freddy. He knows just what to bring. As the guys say in the street, I got something for you, baby. You're going to like this. Or oh, I guarantee you, you're going to like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come into my parlor. Come on, anybody looking? Come on into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. And here you come. <laughs> what are we getting? What are we getting? Ooh, 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 good. And all the time, God has his angels. God has his people. God has some of your family members, some of your closest friends telling you, slow down, slow your roll, baby. You are charging in the wrong direction. And in some old person will quote some old proverb that says, <clears throat> fools rush in where angels fear to tread. It's an old proverb from back in the day, mixed up with the old wives' tale. So you see that as an old wives' tale. And you pay it no attention. And you see what you like. You smell what you like. And you think it's chocolate pudding. You think it's all that and a bag of chips. And you look at it and you say, I got to have that. That is for me. What God has for me is for me. This is my destiny. I know this was made for me. This is fate. Yeah, it's fake, not fate. You got the wrong spelling. You got one letter wrong, T. It's not fate. It's fake. It's not your blessing, it's your curse. But it smells good, it looks good, it looks appetizing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. And you go on looking at it saying, oh yeah, I know that's real. Mm -hmm. No. Because Satan knows how to package your gift. <laughs> yeah. It's a trick bag. It ain't a gift, it's a trick bag. And he's trying to wrap you up in it. And you're going for the okie doke. Oh, you're going for it, all right. All the warnings God has placed in your way. 
and you're ignoring, you're turning a blind eye because your desires from this stuff right here called flesh is stronger than your desire for wisdom. Your desires are, and your needs and your wants and your longings, they're stronger than the common sense God placed between those two big ears of yours. People are looking at you, wondering, how could somebody so intelligent fall for something so dumb? And you get angry at everyone because they don't know this one like you know them. They don't recognize your blessing. They're jealous. That's what it is. Yeah, and Satan encourages you to believe that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're jealous. Look at them. They don't want you to have nothing because they ain't got nothing. <laughs> And you swallow it. Hook, line, and sinker. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was good. I want more. I want more. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. Mm-hmm. And you play with it and play with it. And you tinker and tinker with it because it's fascinating. It's enticing. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got to have that. That's for me. And when you start to see danger signs that you cannot deny and you try to back up from it, it grabs you and says, no, no, this is a strong attachment and I'm not letting you go, sucker. Now you're scared, but you don't know what to do. You better cry out to God and ask for deliverance. Cry out to God and ask for a way of escape. Ask him to get you out of the mess you walk willingly into. Please. I'm not criticizing you. I've been there. I played dumb diddy dum dum too. I know what it's like to be stuck on stupid. I know. So I'm not criticizing you. I'm just trying to do a wake-up call before you get to a point where you wouldn't know your own name if you saw it in neon lights. Satan can take you there, you know. Keep holding his hand and see what happens. All right. Let me read this scripture. Verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to come out from among them? and be ye separate or you just gotta go in for one more little dip just in case you can turn the pudding covered doo-doo into pure unadulterated beautiful delicious pudding hmm yeah you gonna change it you don't know it's gonna change you but you think you're gonna change it what are you gonna do about it you going to call on God and be ye separate? Hmm. Or you going to march yourself right into that fire, thinking that it's a light show. It's fireworks. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's there to fry your behind, but you don't recognize it because you have become that proverbial frog sitting in the pot, swimming in this nice, cool, refreshing water while Satan slowly turns up the flame, just gradually. 
Now it's simmering, but it hasn't gotten hot yet. So you're just having a ball, just got your hands behind your head, legs crossed, and you're just floating around and swimming around in circles. You got me going in circles. Did it, did it, Going round and round I go. And you're going in circles. And you just, oh, you just love it. It feels so good. Oh, it's getting so warm. I'm getting so relaxed. I'm getting so sleepy. I think I might take a nap. And before you know it, you're cooked, baby. You're cooked. Your goose is cooked. Now what are you going to do?